Go on, take it. Eat it. Eat it. There we go. Eat it. Yeah. Delicious. See you next time. Pet, 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 pet. Good job. I don't know why I stroked her beak. That was kind of weird. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh my god. You're cool. Springy boy, go back Hello. there. You're all good, you're all good. <laughs> there you go, man, you understand. Hi. Again, why am I doing that? Okay. Hello. <laughs> Keep them 
there. Alright, that's good, that's good, that's good. That's good. Doing a fine job. Doing a fine job. I always slip in and out between every Hi. accent possible to man. Whenever I play this game. Hello. Just stay there, boy. You stay there. Good boy. Good. Little swing trap. Ooh. Good swing trap. Yes! Oh. oh my gosh. That is one of the hardest levels in this game. Oh my god. Give me that sweet prize, man. Oh, that is a sweet prize. Can I pick it up? He's missing Bon Bon, but I'll take it. I wasn't expecting to beat that. I was just kind of practicing. I. Alright, so. Trick for Nightmare Mode FNAF 3. Uh, you saw me constantly hitting the reboot all that is a that'll help you out so much um because mangle and balloon boy they are really your biggest problem because they are the cameras and you really got to stay in the cameras bounce spring trap between cam 9 and 10 seal the vent that goes um, in and out between cam 10 and you saw me constantly switching cameras am i hitting something yeah, you saw me constantly switching in and out between cam 9 and 10, and then also quickly checking the vent. That's to make sure Balloon Boy and Mangle don't spawn in the vent, or in the camera you're looking at, because they can. So if you're constantly switching cameras, then it's kind of easy to avoid them. So, now all I have left to do is FNAF 1, Night 5. And I'm not looking forward to it, man, let me tell you that. get you. Why do you do that? It's really gonna mess me up. I went from five to zero in like one second. He's done, but he can still kill you. Every time! Oh my god! It happened again! It happened a second time! Does that count? Oh my god!
even better. Well, I gotta open that up. Like, I know I'm gonna die from goddamn, like, Shadow Freddy, but Jesus. This game! I hate it so much! I like the way your fib clips through your arm. That's a uh, that's pretty cool, Chica. Whoa! Hey! Dang! These pictures are really cool. Oh my God! These figures—they're so good. just how annoying this level is. I have been doing this for over two hours at the very least, and my main problem right now is Foxy. He seems very, very aggressive, and it seems like he drains way too much power. There is a patch that is coming out next week as of the, as of the time of that I'm recording this, so hopefully that patch will change Foxy's mechanics or change something about this level because this is just absolutely horrid and I've actually basic I've technically beat this level twice as you guys seen where I get killed but then the clock chimes I'm I honestly was thinking about cheating and saying that I beat it that time but I couldn't find the game files but if I can find the files I am going to change it that I beat it because I technically did, just Foxy is unbelievably reliable, unreliable, and again, like most FNAF games, is RNG based, so this is possibly one of my least favorite levels, just because it's so reliant on RNG, and there's really no good strategy to it. I have watched DJ Stoff's guide on this level, um, but... Foxy only attacked him twice that night, and as I've been playing this for more than two hours, like I've said, and all of those attempts, he has come at me three times. Not once has he come at me twice. And look, it's not even one yet, and he's already peeking out of his corner. But I have memorized this DJ Stoff strategy to the best of my ability, and I'm gonna try to follow it as closely as possible, and let's see if that'll work, but for right now, I guess I'll see you guys later. Come on, you're gone! He is gone, he should be gone at that point! Jesus Christ! So I just watched Illumitom's video. I don't think I'm pronouncing that name at all. But you know the guy, that one, <laughs> the one FNAF channel. You know that one. Yeah, he's the guy that does all the FNAF secrets. He's probably known for all the UCN mods with like Baldi and all those other characters like that and Bendy. So I watched his video. Um, on this night, and I realized that you don't have to close the door on Freddy until he goes away. Well, at least that's what they did, so I am going to try that, and if that doesn't work, then I am going to feel cheated. Come on! Why? Every time! Are you kidding? 
kidding me? Are you kidding me after all of that? Oh my god, after all of that. They should not be able to kill you once the once the timer hits. That is that better be fixed in the patch, because that is completely that is That's the third time! For real? For real? Oh my god. 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 <laughs> yes! <laughs> <coughs> Slice of cake? Are you kidding me? All that for a slice of cake? Is that it? Is that is that for real? It? Yes! Oh my god! Nearing uh, three hours doing that nonstop. Well, I had some breaks, but oh my god! Ah. Uh. Oh my god. I'm here to explain why that game was so difficult. FNAF 1 Night 5 in particular, why it's so hard. Basically, and this is a little bit of strategy in it, but I do recommend you watch DJ Stuff's and Illumitom's video. I definitely don't think I'm pronouncing that right. Down below, both of them are linked down below. If you're having trouble with this night, I highly suggest you watch them. They are both very helpful. <laughs> so the reason why this game is hard overall is because, well for me, it's mostly Foxy. He rushes your door about two or three times each night, and he drains it by a lot. The more he rushes your door, the more power he drains. Also Freddy, when you see him in the corner of the hallway, you don't have to close your door, you can, but you have to close the door when he leaves because then Shadow Freddy has a chance of killing you whenever Freddy has been in the corner and then has moved from it. So you always have to keep that right door closed and usually he'll leave at about 3.30. So for basically the entire last half of the night, you are always having one door closed and that becomes easy to manage because then you don't have to worry about an entire door but then it also is taking up loads of power and that mixed with Foxy rushing your door and draining um, usually it was like 12% near the end of the night which is a lot of power you'll notice that I ran out of power multiple times um, in the montage of me dying and I even lost power when I won the night. So, and I honestly think you, there was no way to avoid losing power. I honestly think it is impossible to beat this night without losing power. And when you do lose power, you really gotta rely on RNG and you gotta have luck on your side because just like the first FNAF one, the longer it takes for you to attack you when you lose power, the better chance you have of winning which is why I was like, I took off the, the, the rift 
Oculus Rift, I took off the headset. I was going to say helmet. I took off the headset and I looked you guys right in the face. Because I had a feeling, and this has happened two other times before, actually no, three other times before, that I was going to die right as the clock hit six. And that is why I was like, really? Is this really happening? It's because I didn't know if I was going to get killed there. But thankfully I didn't. So that is just my little quick overview. Also, quick tip for Bonnie and Chica, you don't have to use the light at all. Chica, you can see her bib in the window. You can also see her feet as you walk past. Bonnie, same thing, you can see his feet as he walks past. And you can also see his silhouette in the doorway when he appears. And if you peek around the corner through the window, you can see his hand. Once his hand disappears, he has disappeared. So I, I hope that explanation clears up why I was so frustrated with this game, is that you have to take a lot of things into account. Even past the original game, again, Shadow Freddy is one of your main problems, as well as Foxy. And again, I highly suggest you watch those two guides linked down below if you're having trouble with this night, and that's really it. So, not only is that it for Nightmare Mode, that's also it for this video. Next video, we are going to do Pizza Party, which is supposedly the last mini game in this game. And then after that, I gotta find all the rest of the tapes and the coins and all the items in the prize counter, which may or may, may or not may or may not be difficult. You did see me in the middle of the montage get a few more action figures. That was just me taking a break from FNAF One because again, it's super difficult. Other than that, that's it for this video. You've noticed that I've been uploading two videos a day, and that is because I have theoretically beat Help Wanted again. I have to record a pizza party. But other than that, we're basically done with Help Wanted, and I don't want to start my monologue about it right now because I, I still got a whole nother level to do. But that is it for Nightmare Mode. I'm super excited for Pizza Party. Hopefully you guys are too. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. <laughs> Running out of breath there. I've been talking for a long time.